What's up guys, Rui here and welcome back to the channel. In the absolute beginner guide to tech wear video that I released, I talk about how waterproof or water resistant garments does not define the entire tech wear genre, but we cannot deny that it is a very useful and functional feature. That is why in today's video, I will be showing you how you could potentially apply water resistance to almost any garments that you currently own using this, the 3M Scotch Guard Fabric Water Shield Spray. I actually picked this can up a while back, but I just have not gotten the time to come about in making today's video. Therefore, I am really excited and I will be testing this out using some of my pre-existing garments and just to see how the effectiveness is and I will kind of document the entire process from start to finish. But before we continue further into today's video, it would be very, very much appreciated if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet as it really does help the channel out a long way. Also, if you guys are feeling generous and want to help support the channel in a much bigger way, I do have a Patreon page where I've only set up to be a dollar a month and all of it will go into with me to pick up new filming equipment so that I can continue to improve the qualities of the videos for you all as well as helping to keep the lights on this channel. Firstly, let's go through what this spray application is all about. It's basically Scotchgard's version of DWR which aims to apply a durable water repellent coating on a fabric. If we have paid attention in a high school science class, DWR is an application that makes the surface of the fabric to be hydrophobic, giving it that water repellent property. This is a rather cheap DIY alternative if you are looking to have some of your pre-existing garments to have some sort of water protection without having to go out and buy a new piece just because you want that functionality. Now personally for me, I will only be applying this application to kind of my outer wears or heavier pieces that I will kind of wash less because with every DWR coating out there, it will kind of diminish its effectiveness after each and every wash. Therefore, over time, you will have to kind of reapply it just to maintain its effectiveness. Now disclaimer, if you are interested in trying this out on your own, do this at your own risk as different fabrics may react differently with the spray. So do try to see if it's possible to test it out a little bit before going all in. And also, personally for me, I won't be trying this on any of my pre-existing garments that are already water repellent as this is kind of more catered towards pieces that do not have any treatment done to it beforehand. In order to put the spray to test, I have selected a couple of my own pieces, ranging from different items just so that we get some of a good sample pool to see how it does with different materials. To start things off, I have a pair of Vans Bolt 9 in the black colorway. This is a very basic pair of canvas sneaker and on the can, it did mention that this is an ideal item to use on it, so I am looking forward to see how it turns out. I really like this sneaker because of how minimal it looks and it goes well with many of my outfits. Up next is by far my favorite bucket hat that I own and it's the Trooper Bucket Hat from Not List. This super unique and angular design fits very well with a lot of my tag wear outfits and not to mention it actually fits my large head. However, the only drawback is the lack of water resistance which would have been a great feature to have on such an accessory like this. Finally, the main piece that I'm very interested in having water repellent on is the Nike Academy Trek Bowen pants. Reason being, this is primarily a white pair of pants, therefore any accidental spills or dirt will stain this pair heavily and having water repellency on it will for the most part be able to protect it. Since this is the first time that I'm trying out this water repellent spray, I decided to try it on a less important piece just to see how it works or what are some of the potential side effects that it may carry. As on the can, it did mention that it may give the fabric a darker tone of color after application and I've also read on some reviews that claims that it will leave some dark spots or unevenness on the fabric. Hence, I decided to try it on a pair of pretty old Uniqlo shorts that I've owned for a couple of years now. So even if this got ruined, I don't feel too bad being that I mainly use it just to run my daily errands. Because we are applying a spray substance, it's very important that our garments are clean. If there are any dust or dirt on them, it could potentially result in uneven coating or worse yet, the spray might not even stick onto the garment. Therefore, for these pants, I have given it a good wipe down using a damp piece of cloth and allowed it to fully dry. Up next, I proceed with the spraying process. Now do note a single can is estimated to cater up to five jackets, but they did not specify as to how many coatings it will be. However, in my case, I am planning to apply around two to three coatings per piece, 
which spoilers alert if you are planning to apply that many coating it is kind of only able to accommodate around two and a half jackets when spraying always do this in an open area with plenty of ventilation the spray does have a pretty strong odor during application and being that you will be spraying quite a bit it's definitely not safe if you are doing this inside an enclosed area in order to achieve an even coating i did short bursts of sprays for about six inches away from the pans in a more of a sweeping motion to ensure that the spray is not centered in just one area for this test i decided to only spray one side of the pans just to see if it did change the tone of the color a little bit or leave an even spot and thankfully i did not experience any of it which did give me the confidence to move towards all my other pieces Now that I have tested it out and have a better understanding on how the spray actually works, I will be moving on to the rest of my pieces and fingers crossed there won't be any mishaps or complications along the way. Just like the test Uniqlo pants, all of these pieces have gone through a good wipe down to remove any kind of dirt or grime that's sticking onto it. All in all, the entire process took me a good full day. Hence, I would say depending on how many pieces you are planning to spray, do you allocate a solid time block. Try not to rush through the entire process and take your time to ensure that you are applying an even coating throughout the entire garment. As to how the pieces turned out for me, well, safe to say that in terms of color changes or dark spots, none of my pieces experience any of that after everything is dried out. Checking on the water resistance, it is performing really well here. As you can see with the cap and sneakers, it is able to repel water very effectively. Now, do bear in mind I did apply about three layers of spray for each piece. It is a little bit of an overkill, but I really wanted to ensure that it has a good amount of coating on them. As for the Nike Aircanine pants, the water resistance is working very well here as well. For light rain and accidental splashes, I do have the confidence that it will be able to keep the pants dry. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a complication because I did spray this piece while hanging it as I did not want it to touch the ground since this is a white pair of pants, which is why there were some spots that I missed out due to the pants folding in some areas and also I did run out of spray towards the end. And that is how you could potentially apply water repellent functionality onto almost any pre-existing garments that you own. All in all, I'm very happy with the result and how everything turned out. I do kind of wish I have on another coat of spray for the track pants, but other than that, I think the entire project was a success. The whole point of this video is not only to provide a guide on how you could potentially do it, but also to show you that it's not too difficult to have water resistance in a garment. So don't get too enticed when a garment is marketed to be water resistant. Are you interested in trying this out? Or better yet, what are some of the pieces that you currently own that you kind of wish have water resistance? Do let me know down below in the comment section and let's talk about it. That's all I have for today's video. If you guys did enjoy watching it, please do give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you guys are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, it would really mean the world to me if you guys can go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It's because of these little things that it will help to kind of push the channel out to more people. Please do stay safe out there and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.